I'm here in Adelaide today, sitting in a nice quaint coffee shop. The weather has changed here. The last few days it was damn hot, but today it's turned breezy and cool. It's almost like the entire tension has disappeared out of Adelaide after yesterday's India-Pakistan game. Well, the match itself was a one-sided affair, with India continuing its domination over Pakistan in World Cup games. For me, one of the most heartening sides of the game was Umesh Yadav picking up a wicket of a short delivery. As an Indian fan, we've only been used to Pakistani fast bowlers bombarding Indian batsmen with short pitch deliveries and actually taking them out, making them look awkward while facing the short ball. Well, here was a welcome sight, looking at a young Indian fast bowler charging into bowl and getting an experienced Pakistani batsman like Yunus Khan caught out on a short ball. Way to go, Umesh. Well, it's been a positive start for Team India in this World Cup. A win against arch rivals Pakistan in the first game of the tournament means that the team go into the tournament with a little bit of momentum. But frankly, the Indian bowling will have to pick up for the next game. They were not really tested yesterday against a young, inexperienced Pakistani batting order. The South African order, the next opponents, will be a far tougher bet. With experienced batting, Hashim Amla, A.B. De Villiers, Fab Duplisi and David Miller, who will test the Indian bowling. I hope they are up to the task in the next game too. Virat Kohli has achieved a machine-like consistency in scoring runs in ODI cricket. And India will be hoping that his red-hot form continues into the World Cup so that they can go deep into the tournament. When you have batsmen like Virat, Rohit, Shikhar, Raina and Dhoni in an ODI squad, if all of them get into form, then the other teams are definitely going to be in big, big trouble.